Hello and welcome to Easy Gluten Free. Today we're making that beautiful chocolate cherry tart with a sweet almond crust that's pretty similar to a French pot sucre pastry. But this dough is made with almond flour. And for the filling, those plump ripe cherries do an amazing job offsetting the richness of both the chocolate filling and the buttery crust. Trust me, everyone's going to be raving about this one. Okay, now to make this simple, rustic, but very stunning pastry, we'll start out with the crust. And for that, cream together one half cup of very well softened room temperature butter with a quarter cup of granulated sugar until well combined. Add one slightly beaten egg and mix until you have a well homogenized mixture. If you're doing it by hand versus using a mixer, It'll have a curdled appearance here, which is fine. Now add a cup and a half of blanched almond flour, and you'll want to sift the flour since it has a tendency to have a lot of lumps. Now mix until it's fully incorporated, then add a quarter cup of gluten-free flour, and once you have it fully incorporated, you'll end up with something that looks like a cookie dough. Now chill it for a half an hour to get it more workable. Then you can begin to press the dough into the bottom and up the sides of a 9 inch greased tart pan with a removable bottom. And I didn't chill my dough because I was in a bit of a rush. So I used the back of a spoon to give it a rough covering. Then I chilled the dough for 10 minutes before cleaning it up a little. And you can see it's much less sticky once it's cold. And when you're happy with your pressed crust results, you need to fully chill it either in the fridge for 30 minutes or in the freezer for 10 minutes if you're in a rush. And while that's chilling, to make the chocolate filling, add six ounces of bittersweet chocolate chips to a microwave safe bowl with a half cup of heavy whipping cream and microwave for about a minute. Then let it rest for one to two minutes so the chocolate can begin to melt. Then stir until the chocolate and cream are well combined. In another small bowl, combine one egg with one yolk, two tablespoons of sugar, and a quarter teaspoon of almond extract. And beat until the egg and sugar is well combined and the mixture begins to get a little lighter. Add this to the chocolate mixture and beat them together until they're well combined. Preheat the oven to 325 degrees. And I've got three quarters of a pound of pitted fresh Bing cherries. And to remove the pits, you're going to need a cherry pitter so that you're left with the whole cherry intact. Now before filling the tart, place the crust onto a baking sheet that's lined with parchment paper. Pour the chocolate filling over the crust and spread it out into an even layer. And don't worry that it doesn't fill the pan, since the cherries will displace the chocolate and raise the level as we fill the tart pan. Arrange the cherries over the chocolate in a pretty tight pattern. Now sprinkle over about a tablespoon or two of shaved almonds and bake for 35 to 40 minutes or until the crust is golden and the center just starts to set. When it comes out of the oven, let it cool on a wire rack for an hour or so. But remember to only lift the tar pan by the edges until it's fully cool because that removable bottom will go straight through the hot tart. And once it's cooled to room temperature, Use a smaller cylindrical object with a flat top where you can rest the tar pan and make it easier to remove the rim. Now place it onto a serving plate and allow it to chill for at least two hours to set before slicing. And when you do serve this, you'll be amazed at how the cherries maintain a taste and texture almost as if they'd never been baked. And the way these cherries play against the silky rich chocolate filling and buttery almond crust is just amazing. If you like black forest cake, you really gotta try this one, folks. And if you'd like to print a copy of today's easy chocolate cherry tart recipe, you could always visit my blog at the link below. And for brand new recipes every week, don't forget to subscribe. See you again soon.